Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a spring washer in KTV5. This is asked by one of my subscribers and uh, this is a reference image uh, with respect to which we're going to do the design. On the right side we can see the uh, kind of uh, design, the spring washer design which I've done and uh, it's pretty simple, it's just a combination of a uh, few commands and I'm going to show you how you can design this. So open up a new workbench, wireframe surface design workbench and I'm going to name it as a uh, spring washer study or whatever Let's just click on OK and you get the new drawing, uh, I mean the uh, new workbench alright now I'm going to create a small point there click on the sketcher and I'll just create a point so at this point, what I'm whatever I'm going to create is the starting point for the helix. So what is the radius of uh, the spring washer which we're going to design? We're going to input that as uh, the distance between the uh, what do you call the y-axis and this point here. So I'll just give it's an mm. So I'll just give a five mm. So that'll be sufficient for us. I'll just uh, come out the sketch zoom in right now create just go to this wireframe toolbar and click on the helix if it's not seen over here just click on the drop down and take the helix over here and click on this point here and the axis click as vertical axis so you can see a couple of uh, uh, you know, spring kind of uh, arrays coming there so I'll just come to the front view where I can see the point I created there. So we're gonna use only one particular, uh, you know, revolution here. So that'll be sufficient for us. So you can see it's uh, one complete revolution there. Just come to the front view again. All right, <coughs> and we got our curvature there. So we're gonna create a small. Uh, rectangle there and I'm going to do a sweep for that so that's it so this is totally one there so I'll just click on OK and then uh, just uh, one more thing just give a clockwise because uh, that's how it is in the uh, image so you can see it's how it is now click on this plane here again and click on the sketch and in here you're going to create a small rectangle make them coincident and here you give 0.5 and 0.5 there come on the sketch and then do a sweep for it this Right. Uh, it seems like uh, that's really thin. So if you feel like that, just uh, go to the what do you call the sketch right here. Maybe give um, to come out. Okay. So you got something similar over there. Now once we are done with the surfacing, what you need to do is uh, switch back to the Part Design Workbench, Insert Surface Base Feature and Close Surface. And select this surface here and click on OK. And we get the part extracted there. Now hide the sweep and hide the related sketch and the point. So you got a pure spring washer over there now you can apply the material if you want so it's going to take a little time so uh, maybe I'll go for the metal and just apply whatever you want maybe the steel and make sure your shading is with material and uh, that's, that's somewhere or whatever you can see is somewhere similar to that. So that's how you can create, uh, you know, this kind of design, the uh, design of spring spring washer in an easy way. 
and uh, thank you so much for watching the tutorial if you have any doubts clarifications please comment on my video and you can also write to me at katia.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting in touch with you if you want me to uh, take up any project if you if you have any projects cat related projects you can hand it over to me and I'll be getting it done to you as a freelancer too and that's all thank you so much